Here we have our three parts of the commercial pattern, our pattern envelope, our pattern guide sheet, and our pattern tissue. In this video, we're gonna focus mostly on our pattern tissue here. Um, and this is what it looks like. It's kind of just this brown, really light paper. It's so thin that you can actually use like fabric scissors on it, which is kind of nice. And you'll see it has different sizes. So extra small, small, medium, large. You should have already picked which size you're doing and circled it. So I'm doing a small, so I know that if I was cutting this out, I would cut along this line, because that's kind of like a one size fits all line. And then I'd go down the small line. And then later when I'm marking my dots, I would look for any dots that are marked small. So like that one, or just any generic dots, like some dots are like on this piece right here. That's the same dot for all sizes, okay? Um, something I should note with the pattern, guide, uh, pattern tissue here is that there are two sheets. And one of the sheets is this one right here that says child slash teen. This is a kid's pattern and it's going to be way too small if you use this pattern. So go ahead and set this sheet. It's like all one big piece of paper. You're gonna put this aside. If you plan on making kids joggers, you can save it. If not, just throw it away so you don't get confused. And then the other sheet, I already cut mine out, but it looks like this. I mean, it will say teen slash adult on it. So that's the one you want and you will cut out that piece. Um, you can look in your pattern guide sheet there is a page or a little section of it that tells you how many pattern pieces are. So you should have a one, two, three, four, five, and six. And it tells you what each of those are. So we have a front, back, pocket, casing, leg band, and waist elastic guide. This is not going to be cut out on our fabric. It'll be cut out on the elastic. But you need to cut out each of these pieces from your pattern tissue. So what you're going to do now is find your size, um, which we already did, right? You find that size and you're going to cut out that size of your pattern tissue. If you would like, like I'm gonna be doing the small, but I just cut it out on the extra large. You can cut it out bigger. And then when you cut your fabric, cut out exactly on the small so that you have the most accurate cut when you're cutting out your fabric, or you can cut them out to the exact size you would like. But you need to cut out a piece one, two, three, four, five, and six so that you're ready to lay out. Another thing is piece three, right here, our pocket, you're gonna to have to cut four of piece three. So everything else is cut two, like this one, but you're gonna have to cut four of that one. You're gonna have to lay it out twice. So if you would like to make a copy of piece three, you can use tissue paper to make a copy of that. And you'll just trace it out, make another version of it, trace all the pattern markings like this arrow and the notches. And then you will have another piece three. It's just a little bit easier later. Um, we'll talk about that later too, but that's an option. Let's talk about some of the symbols on our patterns. So here we have an arrow. This is our straight of grain arrow. The straight of grain arrow should always be parallel to the selvage and the fold of the fabric when you lay it out. Um, there is also some notches, which are these little triangles. To mark notches, you can either um, cut out a little triangle like on the outside of them, or you can just do a little quarter inch clip into them. You do not want to do more than a quarter inch. So a quarter inch is about where the tip of that arrow or that triangle is if you do more than that then you're going to probably have a hole in your fabric which like once you sew it together you don't want to have a hole okay so just a short clip we've talked about our arrow we've talked about our notches now let's talk about these dots dots tell me that there's going to be some sort of specific direction about this point in my instructions okay so maybe it's saying this is going to line up with a seam maybe it's saying i'm going to have to line this up with another dot maybe it's saying um, that I need to cut something at this dot. Whatever it is, I need to know where that dot is. So what I would do is I would lay this on my fabric. So pretend this is my fabric right here. And I would lay it on my fabric. I'm gonna do it on this other side. This one, my fabric. I'm gonna take my pin here and I'm gonna put it vertically through, straight through. And then I would open up my fabric to the wrong side on the inside. And I would just mark, and I'm gonna zoom in so you can see. See how I can see my pin? I'm gonna mark here. In here to show where that dot came through okay so i just want to know where that dot is um so that i have that ready to go so this is our pattern tissue that was a little introduction you're going to go ahead and cut out pieces one two three four five and six of your pattern make sure that it says teen slash adult not child slash teen